Atlas by Boston Dynamics is back on its BS. The AI-powered humanoid robot became a pop culture icon in the 2010s. Viral videos showcasing its increasingly agile and human-like capabilities amazed and horrified millions of people. Others worried the AI robot would evolve to resent humanity for its harsh treatment from its creators. Since becoming fully electric in 2024, Atlas has been more low-key, demonstrating industrial tasks rather than parkour. Now it's learning at an accelerated rate and it's showing off. It has a new look, a more powerful brain, and it's doing stunts again. But the humanoid robotics market is in a very different place, with dozens of firms, mostly from China and the United States, boasting new capabilities nearly every day. Can Atlas come out ahead as it competes with Tesla, Figure AI, Agility Robotics, and a growing array of Chinese firms racing to mass deploy their humanoids? Let me know what you think in the comments. According to the Massachusetts-based robotics leader, Atlas achieved its smooth movements and human-like walking gait with reinforcement learning and motion capture. Boston Dynamics released this new demo footage as the company shared its progress at NVIDIA's GTC 2025 conference. In the minute-long video, Atlas showcases its ability to run, maintain balance, and crawl. The way it adapts its posture to navigate under obstacles suits it for disaster recovery. That was the robot's original use case when its development began in 2013 as part of DARPA's Robotics Challenge. The robot can also now pull off somersaults, cartwheels, handstands, and even break dancing moves. Boston Dynamics developed a reinforcement learning-based movement policies in collaboration with the Robotics and AI Institute. The research organization, led by Boston Dynamics founder Mark Raybert, focuses on advancing artificial intelligence and robotics technologies. Atlas now uses NVIDIA's Jetson Thor computing platform for its advanced AI processing. Designed for humanoid robotics, the computer runs sophisticated, multimodal AI models that improve the robot's decision-making. NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong highlighted Atlas and its digital twin during his GTC keynote presentation. In the simulation, Atlas appears to be training for factory work for Boston Dynamics' parent company, Hyundai. They previously shared this footage of Atlas learning part sequencing for the South Korean automotive manufacturer. At automotive factories, parts arrive unsorted from suppliers, which means human workers must manually organize them onto a dolly for use on the assembly line. Since different car models are assembled on the same line, workers need parts in the right order for efficiency. In a recent blog post, Boston Dynamics said automating this sorting process will reduce worker strain while bringing vehicles to production quicker. The job is trickier than one might assume because it involves thousands of different parts with varying shapes, weights, and sizes. Unlike pre-programmed robots, Atlas must recognize mistakes when they happen, correct them, and learn edge cases instead of relying on constant human intervention. Atlas must use a full range of motions to reach high, low, and awkwardly placed items. If Atlas succeeds in part sequencing, plans call for scaling it into broader manufacturing roles. The ultimate goal is to bring Atlas to mass production alongside the company's other famous robot, Spot. The robot's virtual replica, which reflects its physical counterpart in real time, learns tasks in NVIDIA's Isaac simulator before attempting them in the real world. NVIDIA's Newton physics engine, developed in collaboration with Google DeepMind and Disney Research, helps robots with expressive movements and complex physical tasks. The new Boston Dynamics demo brings Atlas back to its roots with high agility stunts. The hydraulic version of the humanoid went viral in the late 2010s and early 2020s with its backflips, parkour capabilities, and dance moves. The video showcased the robotics firm's state-of-the-art control systems, but the robot wasn't really positioned for any specific industry. The company retired the hydraulic Atlas in 2024, replacing it with a new fully electric version with dramatically different aesthetics. 
Boston Dynamics, and other perceived leaders in humanoid robotics like Tesla, Figure, Agility Robotics, and One X Technologies are also feeling the heat from a growing array of Chinese firms boasting advanced capabilities. Unitry Robotics just shared this footage of its short humanoid robot, the G1, performing a flawless side flip. The Hangzhou-based robotics leader called it a world first. Unitree has been on a tear since a fleet of its full-sized humanoid robots performed for more than a billion viewers during the Chinese New Year festivities. After the spectacle, powered by Alibaba AI, aired on China's most-watched TV program, Unitree started sharing new videos about weekly showcasing its shorter humanoids' growing capabilities. Like Boston Dynamics, Unitree trains its robots with an NVIDIA simulation platform with reinforcement learning. Unitree's full-sized humanoid robot, the H1, became the first electric humanoid robot to execute a standing backflip back in March 2024. The hydraulic atlas demonstrated the capability in 2017, and its electric reboot followed suit in December 2024 in a holiday-themed clip. Earlier this year, Shenzhen startup engine AI boasted its short humanoid's ability to do a front flip. The startup is clearly run by movie buffs, evidenced by its latest demo paying homage to a Hong Kong cult classic. For more on that, check the related video.